Hey guys, this is Aaron with Zolo Tech. Today I have the Zag installed on the MacBook. So this is the part three in the series uh, that it's taken to install it, wait a few days, come back and look, see what it looks like. So I've been using this for a few days. I think this is the third day actually. And they tell you to give it two or three days to kind of cure and set up. Now you can see it adds a sheen to the, to the MacBook. It gives it a more grippy feel. You know, you, it's not as slippery as the aluminum used to be. Um, that's good as far as hanging on to it. Now, I tend to think it looks pretty decent. There, I've had mixed mixed reviews from people. Some people say it doesn't look as good. It's not as premium as like the aluminum and the feel. That part I agree with the feel. Um, definitely is never going to get a scratch. That's for sure, unless it's something strong enough to break through this. Uh, super sharp. It is. It's got a little bit of an orange peel effect to it. If you've ever looked on a car, a bad paint job, it's a little bit wavy. Well, it's it, it's a little bit like that. I don't know if you can see that in the light. It's hard to kind of show that to you. Uh, but you saw me install this on the top. Uh, if you watch the other video, pretty tough. You got to really take your time. I don't know if you can see along the edge. Let's see here, right here. It's not perfect with this edge. It is on the sides. Here it's not. I couldn't get it to be perfect. I don't know if that's the cut or cut stretched or what, but pretty good here. It does collect a little bit of uh, whatever's sitting near you, or if you set this down, I actually set this down upside down a minute ago, um, you know, just to take a look at the bottom. It does collect a little bit. It does not ding the surface at all, though. I mean, it's completely on the on the vinyl or plastic. Um, this is coated on the sides and the bottom. Now, the bottom I didn't do as good of a job on, apparently. I did really well on this piece right here. Right here, you can see a little bit of bubbles, and I would hoped that would go away. Uh, it, it hasn't. Um, a little bit of air bubbles in there. I thought I got them all out. You can see them there. Uh, if you're looking at it straight on, you can see it also, but you're not looking at this part of the MacBook most of the time, so it's not too big of a deal, but it is annoying. Oop, there we go. So, and again, that's not going to scratch. I mean, that, uh, as much as I don't want my MacBook to hit anything, uh, hitting that, that surface there isn't going to do anything. It's completely coated. So it's coated here, around these corners. And on the zag, you can see that little notch here. It, there's no protection right here. It starts right here and goes around the corner. Now you can see it doesn't fit perfectly on this corner. Uh, it overlaps a little bit. Then it comes around the front. In the middle, there's a little bit of a gap, so I could get it perfect. On the sides, comes around. And I had to get it perfect for that button right here. Had to get it so you can see it collects a little bit of lint. I don't know if I like the feel of it that much. I like that I'm not going to drop it. I like that I can't scratch it. Um, but I don't know. I'll definitely keep it on for a while and see where it, you know how it goes from here. Um, it, it was a lot of effort. It probably took me an hour and a half total to put the, fr the top, the bottom, and the sides on. Um, I did not, however. It comes with a coating that goes around here. It goes all the way around. I did not put that on because, and it also comes with a touchpad coat. I did not put that on. I like the feel of this touchpad. I don't want anything on it. It's glass. I'm not going to put anything on it that's going to scratch it or whatever anyway. Um, I have these wrist pads uh, that I put on before. Um, so I want, I'm mainly concerned about the outside of this. And uh, so far, you know, like I said, uh, it's been pretty good. It's a little still ripply, wrinkly almost, uh, and not too bad, but, you know, that may concern some of you. If you don't like that, don't get this. If you do, worth every penny if you have the time to put it on. And the patience. It's, I'm not a patient person and I could do it. You saw me in the video, you know, messing around with this piece. This is the hardest piece. I didn't get any liquid in this thing at all. You saw me I put all the paper towels around here. So, is it worth $50? I think it's $55. If you're the type of person that scratches your MacBook, if you've had a white MacBook in the past, if you've had an iPod and you scratch it all up, absolutely worth every penny. If you're someone that is super careful, 
really, really, really careful about not getting any scratches on anything. Uh, always putting it in a bag, a case, and, um, you know, this isn't an issue for you. You might not need it, but if you don't want any scratches and you like the look, this gloss look of it, you can see it, it, it looks pretty good. Uh, you just got to make sure you take your time with it. It's worth it. But again, I'll get some more reviews on you know from people see what they think. But so far, it's about 50 50. 50 50 percent like the look of it. The other 50 are you know they're not sure, but they like the protection of it. Every one of them likes the protection this gives. Uh, so again, it's from Zag. Check it out. It's worth it to at least go to their site and look. You know, you may have a device they have. Uh, they they have like this coating for every single device you can think of that's portable pretty much. Um, super quick shipping. I got to give them that. And uh, again, I don't know, you know, how well this stacks up. I had one person comment on Zolotech.com that you know about heat dissipation. A lot of the heat in this thing comes out this back right here. It's not really an issue. It's not really an issue of coming out of the bottom. The bottom gives off a little heat, but, you know, heat rises. So it comes out of the keyboard, comes out of this back. Uh, this doesn't really get hot. Th th this doesn't get hot at all, the, the LED. Um, so the only thing that gets warm is right back here. This gets really hot back here. I don't think this, pla this vinyl plastic insulates that bad, you know, that much that it's going to be a problem. Right here is where that, let me show you, right here, these are the vents. This is where the heat comes out. So it's really not, the aluminum is not a good conductor. If you remember science class, that sort of thing, aluminum is not the greatest conductor of heat or of electricity. So that's not an issue really. Uh, it comes out through vents, uh, the heat dissipation. So again, uh, check this out. Zag.com and uh, Zolotech.com. We have all three parts, or you can see them on the YouTube channel. Please rate and uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, also, we're going to be doing a giveaway pretty soon of some other things. So, uh, once we hit 100 subscribers, I know I, I don't know why there hasn't been that many, but once we hit 100 subscribers, I'll give something away. We hit 200, I'll give another thing away. So, uh, if you want in on that, help us out here and uh, again check out the zag zag.com and uh, see all the rest of the videos took a long time to install so far it's worth it again this is Aaron with Zolotech I'll see you next time